This video was made in partnership with SPAN. Stay tuned to the end for more information on how you can actually get a free download to see how this might work for your home. I installed a smart panel on my house about nine months ago, and since then, a lot has changed. My smart panels got updates, and thus my smart home has received software updates as well. And if you've never heard of SPAN before, go back and check out the original video where I walk through the install and everything about why I ended up going with this panel. Now, some of these are pretty cool and some of them are just kind of little fixes, but most importantly now, I can do things with my house that I couldn't do before. And also SPAN, the company that makes the smart panel, announced a whole slew of new stuff at this event a couple weeks ago. So I wanna talk about the things that have already happened as well as the things that they just announced that I'm really excited about coming in the future. Let's begin. First up, what is SPAN and the smart panel? Well, you know what your electric panel does, right? Every circuit, every appliance, everything that is powered by electricity in your home connects to it, and that's how it all works, right? It gets it from the grid or your panels or your batteries. Well, SPAN replaces that panel there, and you can get either one that is built into the meter or a sub panel that connects to a battery, and it will allow you to monitor every single circuit and every single appliance in your house, look at usage over time, kind of find patterns and things, maybe if something's going wrong, as well as be able to control each individual circuit. So SPAN is kind of this center hub of a smart home. It really is kind of taking over in terms of anyone that wants to do anything cool with their house, you're gonna want a smart panel like the SPAN panel. And this was founded by some former Tesla engineers that worked on the Powerwall, and they basically saw that there was a huge opportunity here, not just in doing the home battery thing, but also helping people modernize and prepare for things like adding an EV charger or getting solar on their house. Because most often, if you are have an older home like I did, you're gonna need to upgrade that panel and that can cost you thousands of dollars. So in the process, my thinking and why I ended up going this way is because it just makes a lot more sense to have something that is modern and tech and gives you more control instead of just replacing that you know pre-existing panel with a new kind of dumb panel, if that makes sense. And at my house, I have all the things, or almost all the things. It is set up with solar panels. I have a five kilowatt PV setup, so it's about 16 panels. I do want to add more. I have two Tesla power walls, so I can go off grid. In fact, I do every single day to kind of execute this hack where I save money on electricity. And then I have a span smart panel. So all of these work in concert to allow me to control my home's energy, to monitor what's going on, as well as kind of do, you know, just protect myself from any other disturbances like a blackout or anything else. Now, as I mentioned, a few things have changed since I got this installed at my house about nine months ago. One, the new panel is much smaller and actually cheaper than the one that I have. And two, the app is updated and gives me way better information, which just shows how quickly SPAN is innovating on the hardware and the software front. Now I can look at each individual circuit and just see very quickly and easily how the energy use has been trending over time. And you can even add appliances. So for example, where my fridge is, obviously the circuit's labeled refrigerator, so it's kind of obvious, but other ones like Island or some of these other circuits that are in my panel, they control a lot of different things. So what's kind of neat is I can now list all the appliances that are on there and I can see exactly which parts of my house are taking up more energy than others. And one way that plays out is I have this separate studio, which is where I used to work full time. And now we just have it for friends when they come visit or if I need to get any work done while I'm still at the house. Now that has a separate AC unit. And when I first got spanned, the first thing I learned was that that AC unit was running basically 24 seven something I didn't really consider, I probably just left it on one time, and the SPAN app was able to help me understand that and discover that, and obviously I can now shut it off and save more money. So as the weather here in California, where I live in Southern California, has actually got much more friendly, meaning we don't need air conditioning as much, I can continue to monitor these things and kind of dig and discover in terms of what's going on with my energy usage at my house. And that is cool, but the future of this is even cooler, and I'll get to that in a second. If you think of it as a data product, the smart panel, yes, it allows you to control the circuits and monitor things and you know configure what you want on backup or not with your home battery, all that is definitely cool, the, the actual like functional aspect of it, but more so, and maybe I have a bias here, 
This is a data product. This thing is collecting data about every single appliance, every single circuit in your house 24 seven. So with data and historical data, one superpower that we have at our arsenal here is the ability to predict what might happen in the future. Let me give you an example. My fridge went out a few weeks ago and it sucked. It was three days without a fridge in the house and I've got two young kids. So, you know, things like milk or whatever other kind of little treats and things that they need are need to be refrigerated, right? It's something that it's not just a simple inconvenience. Oh, we're gonna eat out every night. It's more like, no, we need things here for our kids. So it was a bummer and it did take them several days to get out and fix it. And the lead up to that, had Span been running with this new feature that they're coming out with, and it was funny because when I was watching them demo this, I was going, yes, this is exactly what I want. They would be able to look at the historical energy usage of something like my refrigerator and see that it was going up. And in statistics, we have this tool called a control chart. So, you know, things will go up and down all the time. There's variations always, this is called noise, but, in a control chart, you can see when something is well outside of its norm, and this is what we would call an abnormal result, in which case you might want to look at that. And with the Span app, that is exactly what they're planning to do. Monitor the usage of your circuits and your appliances so when the energy usage of them shifts outside of kind of these control bounds, it will actually notify you. It's sort of like a check engine light for your home. So imagine in my situation where the fridge is going out, usually when that happens, it starts to eat a lot more energy. Not something you really notice, maybe you hear a fan different or something like that, but in the app, they would notice it very clearly and they could send you an alert and say, hey, you may wanna get that checked out before it dies, before it goes out. And that way, you know, again, if you have a young kids like me, this would be something that you could completely avoid instead of having to, you know, frantically scramble and try to shift things around and, and eat all the food and all that stuff before it goes bad. I mean, it would prevent a lot of headaches like that, which is great. And to me, that is just one tidbit of the true potential of this data that they get from the span panel itself. Now a fridge is one thing, right? We can kind of solve for that by a cooler, get a drink fridge in the garage, whatever. There, there are kind of simpler fixes to that, even if you have to buy a new one. But imagine not having heat in the winter or not having cooling in the summer because your appliance went out. These things, this ability to predict this kind of stuff from happening is gonna be a major feature and one that I think every smart home or really every new home or anyone that's getting their panel upgraded should add because it's just a whole new kind of superpower that you will have at your disposal. Now, one thing that is also kind of interesting is that Span is starting to add more hardware to their lineup here. So I mentioned it earlier, but they have a new panel that will replace your main panel. So you don't have to have a separate one compared to your main. You can just replace the one that is connected to the meter, meaning less boxes on your wall, which is great. But they also have a new EV charger that they announced called the Span Drive. Now this is a new EV charger that works in conjunction with your Span panel to help you charge your car at the best time and even do things like route excess solar energy to your car instead of back to the grid. And now here's why that specifically is important, at least to me and the other 40-ish million people that live in California. The new net energy metering proposal in California could cut the credits you get from sending excess solar energy back to the grid to help level it and stabilize it and all that. It could cut those credits by up to 75%. And there's also was one proposal there that would add a tax to anyone with solar of up to 80 to $100 per month. So, you know, that's a surefire way to kill the value of residential solar here in a state that claims to really love renewable energy. But as someone that already has solar, what I can do with the span drive is I can actually, instead of wasting it by sending it back to the grid, I can send it directly to my car or to my battery. I can control where that energy goes. And that is something that my existing outlet I use to charge my EVs with is just not possible. So this is again, another smarter way to handle my energy and even enhance the capabilities of my smart house. 
Also, we're adding a new EV to our family. We're gonna get rid of probably my Tesla Model S and get the Rivian R1S, the SUV. Well, fingers crossed when it gets here. And that doesn't have the same plug and everything that my Tesla one does. So instead of buying an adapter, this new span drive will use a plug that is more compatible with other EVs out there. It also works with Tesla with a simple adapter that Tesla gives you. So it, it actually is better. It charges faster than my existing one and gives me more control over what's happening, especially imagine during an outage when I can actually have set up scenarios to say, if this happens, then do this. I mean, it's just really another way that Span is enabling us with this electric lifestyle, living off grid and protecting our families in these situations. They're enabling us to have greater control and flexibility over what our home's energy is doing. Now, after the last video, I saw a lot of questions about price, but I'm happy to report, as I mentioned, that it's actually a lot cheaper now. It's right around the $3,500 range, and they've shrunk the panel by about 30%. So much more affordable. And like I mentioned, when I upgraded my solar, you know, when I installed solar and I had to upgrade my panel, I had to pay about three grand to just upgrade the, the existing panel itself. So imagine had span existed and those things been around back then, I could have done that and not just got a new panel that was more capable, but added all this new functionality and you know capabilities for my smart home. And one other kind of neat thing that they announced, again, I wish this existed before, was that you can actually test out the Span app and see how it works for yourself. You don't have to buy anything or give them any information at all. You just install the app from the App Store or Google Play, and then you choose Explore a Simulated Span Home. So while you, know, you can see me doing this and I can show you demos of how it works for my house, you can actually do it yourself to get a real hands-on experience. Again, something that I thought would is just really cool and will help people understand the value of something like this prior to you know forking over the money for it. And then of course, right there in the app, you can submit a little form and see if you know a span panel is right for you. So it's kind of a sales tool for them, but I think it's neat that you can go check it out without having to actually sign up or give them anything like that. It's just free you know experience for you to really kind of demonstrate what is capable, what's possible. So overall, I think I'm just most excited that this is a way to sort of future-proof your house, right? I mean, an electric panel is something that's been around forever and it hasn't changed in a long, long time. And it really is at sort of the center of your home. If you think about it, everything that is running in your home is using it in one way or another. So. Obviously, that's a key place if you want to be able to control your home's energy and really have you know, a smart home, then make sure to check out the link in the description down below and get this app so you can see it firsthand for you how it works and what you can do with it. I'm really excited to partner with them on this here. Let me know what you guys think down below, any questions you might have or specific things you wanna see. I'll try to share those online in stories or other areas like that. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next time.